What is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy H Town Sean. And your girl Shay. And, and we're, we're back, back with another video. video. Guys, today we're back on the hunt yes. for some land, guys, because all the land in Texas it's is really getting out. bought up yes. real quick, guys. Everybody's and, moving to Texas right now. Yeah, like it's a hot market in Texas right now, guys, and we just want to, you know, capitalize on growing some generational wealth, yep, setting yep. the foundation for our family, guys. And so, we've really been looking for forever, but we fell back from looking and we wish we would have bought one when we were supposed to. Last year, we could have got way more acreage for the amount of money we're going to spend as opposed to this year, guys. Yeah, because we was looking at land that was between 10 to 20 acres for 70,000. Yeah, 80,000. Yeah. yeah, and now 70,000, 80,000 to get you one no more. Than, yeah, one or two acres. I mean, you maybe get three, but no more than four acres for, you know, 70 to 80,000 as opposed to last year. You could have got 15 to 20 acres for 70 to 80,000. So, guys, you can see how hot that market yeah. is and how we really need to hurry up and get us some land, guys. Yeah, so. and we, we're not even really looking in the hill country no more. We're looking in the hill country, but now we're trying to look somewhere close to Houston so yeah. we can do something real recreational yeah, close guys. to home. And yeah, guys, as you can see today, we're in the Piney Woods yeah. of Texas, guys. We're really in the Sam Houston National, National Forest. Forest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Sam Houston National Forest, guys. And, you know, we're just out here looking for land today. So, and it guys, smells so good out here, y'all. It yeah, smells it's real like pine. pine needles. <laughs> yes. So, guys, watch the video from beginning to end. And if you're watching the video right now, Go ahead and smash that like button, share a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, hit that post notification bell, so you know every time we drop a new video, ride with the mob. Ride with ride the mob, with us, guys. Now we on the road to 10K. Watch us grow, guys. And stay tuned to check out some amazing properties. All right, y'all, just made it to the first lot. But it's not a good pick. It's a yeah. nice piece of property. But what is next to? Who wants yeah. to be next to a baseball field? It's already a no go, y'all, because yeah. you can see this. And it's yep. three acres for 60000 Three acres for 60000 but I feel like it's 60000 because, because the simple right fact that, that yeah, it's right next to that uh, baseball field. And when people have a big game out here, they're going to park in New York. Oh, yeah, they're going to be parked in New York. For sure, for sure. But yeah, you can see uh, if any one of y'all like it. It's in Cold Spring, Texas. And it's about an hour away from downtown Houston. So, you know, it's still in the metropolitan area. And then with all the urbanization, you know, everybody kind of moving out this way, you know, because the city's so crowded, you know. So, yeah, man. I don't really like this one too much. It ain't got enough pine trees. If I live out here in Sam, well, if I buy property out here in Sam Houston National Forest, I at least wanted to uh, tiny have, yeah, that too, but I at least want to have a lot of pine trees. Oh, yeah. That's what you're in the National Forest for, you know? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of oak tree. I see a lot of oak. Tree. Yeah, but y'all, if you can smell out here, it oh, really yeah. smell good I out smell here. Wild it smell like pine. And wildflowers. It yeah. smells so good. Yeah, y'all, but you know, it's a no-go, so now we on to the next property. Stay tuned. All right, second property of the day, y'all. As you can see, it's actually in a kind of in a neighborhood with some nice homes. And, it's and around that corner is the lake. Yeah, five-minute walk. Yeah, to it's Lake Livingston. Lake Livingston. Yeah. yeah, it's really, it's really, really beautiful, y'all. It's, it's like a lot of untouched land, a lot of trees, forests. So it just smells so natural out here. Yeah. But, the only man. thing I don't like about this property is you actually have to build a house. Yeah, you got to build a house on this you can't property. Yeah, we looking for something that you could put a tiny home on, but it's still nice. Let's walk down a little bit, y'all. It's a uh, it's a lake back here. The property slopes down in the back, so yeah, some nice trees through here, y'all. Hey, I like it. You know, it's a contender. And as y'all can see, this lot right here is cleared, so somebody must have recently bought this lot right here. And we probably get something like this, we wouldn't even tear down these trees. Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't tear down none of these trees, y'all. I would just uh, get a manicure, you know, get them canopied at the bottom and just, you know, leave it like that, man. And y'all, as you can see, we're approaching this lake now. This is the back of the property. Yeah, well, this is a creek to, to the big lake right here. It's not, yeah, it's not the actual lake. So, as you can see, y'all. This is a waterway that runs right into Lake Livingston. And you can see people over there got boat docks. It's nice, man. Yeah, it is. And it's like about it. two acres? Yeah, it's uh, 1.7 acres, almost two. For how much? For uh, 
57,000, I think. Yeah. Or maybe 67, one of the two. Yeah, but this, this is really nice. But this is actually the property right here, y'all. It's not the one we standing on. We're walking on the property next to it that's cleared. So, yeah. Yep, yeah, Lake Living. Very nice, man. Well, now we're about to go to the next property, guys. I think this is the one. The next property, I think it is the one for us. Yeah, from the pictures, y'all, the next property is like our favorite. Cause a lot of it is already cleared like perfectly for you to put your tiny home on there or RV or anything. And it has no restrictions. So you can put anything you want on the property, y'all. So yeah, guys. Stay tuned for that. All right, everybody. This is the third lot. Like and look at the surrounding area. Got the hill up there. All the tall pine trees. Man, I can see myself coming here every day. And this is literally an hour and 20 minutes away from my house, y'all. So, very beautiful. Yup, five minutes from the lake. Yup, put the jet skis over here. A boat, man. And look, it go uphill, y'all. I'm already digging this. For real, for real. Look, y'all. And it feels so good and windy too because we're in the so forest. Good. We're in the national forest. So, yeah, I like this property right here. Somebody here. Yeah, somebody was out here. Maybe the person who owned it or maybe a neighbor. I don't know. Look, why not? But it's very nice. Yeah, it is. They already cleared some wood. Yep. Just for us. They already cleared the spot right here. And y'all, this one is three acres for uh, 70,000. But you're saving money too because you don't have to clear out nothing. Yeah. You can just put a tiny home on this property and it's perfect. Yeah. You like this, Reagan? Yeah. Huh? Nobody can see us from the street. Yeah. Yup. You got privacy at the street and it's up a hill too, so. The hill kind of also conceals the property. Somebody was out here with a, a lighter and a, a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we might have to put our earnest money down on this as soon as we leave this property. Like, no cap. Yes. I really love this. AB, pressure, huh? This is the property line over here, y'all. As you can see, they have like a wired fence. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, so. And they already have the. This um, used to be somebody recreational property, and hopefully it's gonna be ours. And we can come here every day. I can come here after my kids get out of school, while my kids in school. Yeah, man. Just the benefits of owning land, y'all. One thing that they ain't creating no more is land. It ain't gonna be no more of that, y'all. It's a triangle property. Oh, okay, so that's why it looks like that. Yeah, it's a triangle property. It's still good, yeah. And it also goes deep back here, y'all, but I'm not gonna walk back there. You know, it's all type of wildlife out here. Mountain lions and stuff. But man, it's just what I'm looking for. Some nature, y'all. Lake Livingston, it's right by the lake. We love lake life. We always say lake life, so. No. Yeah, this property go with what we've been talking about, y'all, and it, it fit my vision. You know, y'all'll see soon. Cause if we do get it, y'all. Yep, you see the street, y'all. You can't even see the street because we're on top of the hill. Yeah, man. So if we get this property, next time y'all'll see it, we're on it. Look how it slopes down over here, y'all. Reagan even like it. And it look like they clearing some more trees, but if we get it, we're gonna keep all these trees. I'm loving it though, man. Look at Reagan, I already exploring. You love this one, Shay? Yeah, this is my favorite right here. Yeah, hopefully all we can get them to come down here. just a little lower. Yeah, we got but, two other properties to see today, and I'm already sold on this one. I really don't want to see them, but we're gonna go by and see them just to see. Yeah, we got two more properties to see, guys. And Reagan exploring over there. Mm -hmm. He already he's marking his territory. Reagan. You like this one, son? Yeah. You like this property? Yeah. Yeah? Tell them to ride with the mob. Yeah. Ride with the mob. You want this property when you get older, son? Yeah. Okay. You can have it. 
But yeah, man, look at this property across the street too, y'all. Man, this is beautiful. They sitting on gold. Yeah, for real. They got a pond over there too, look. Got a pond. I just love the way the trees are manicured, you know. They got rolling hills on yeah. their own property. Yep, rolling hills, look. Then they got the driveway leading up to the property. And then the property concealed over the hill. We're now at our fourth property. Nice and wooded. Yeah, it's nice and wooded. You gotta clear out a lot yeah. of brush. Mm -hmm. And this one is 72,000 for 3.85 acres. So I feel like the last property is a better value. Yeah, it's a better value. And I think that the last property. The trees look better too because yeah. they had more pine trees yeah, and it's they was more mature than this. Yeah, it's on this one got a lot of oaks and all that too. We have to pay thousands of dollars just to clear this type of property. Yeah, let's walk right here. Let's walk, walk in there. Nice and wooded though. Yeah, it is nice and wooded. So, y'all see. Yeah, guys. I ain't gonna walk too far in there. Oop. It's like a bobcat or something come out and oh, strike yeah. me. So yeah, guys, the last property gives us a little hill country and a little piney woods. So yeah, we still loving the last property the best. Yeah, and it's still a nice one though. It's yeah, still nice one. it's still nice. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next property. All right, we at the last property of the day now, y'all. As you can see, it's another forested property. And after seeing the other property that's hilltop, like yeah, none of these the don't even. Are mediocre, not yeah, mediocre, but yeah, is. they just don't look as good as the other yeah. property. Yeah, but they are nice properties. Uh, that one right there is the best. Yeah, it's a corner it's lot. Everything we're looking for. Yeah, it's a corner lot, guys, and it's a nice property. But yeah, guys, this property has a lot of potential. Yeah. You can clear it out. I don't need much clearing. Yeah. We have a lot of um, pine trees. Yeah, I think I'm sold on the last property. So, guys. The last property. Yeah. The property before the number three. Property yeah. Property number three. Let us know in the comments which one you love the most. The next time you see us with some property, hopefully we'll be owners. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, this concludes the property search for the day. About to go home and conclude the vlog. Stay tuned. This concludes the property search for the day. We've seen a lot of great properties. Yeah. We got a lot to think about, some stuff to sleep on. Yeah. And we really loved that one property. It was Hilltop. Yeah, you I guys saw it. Yeah, it was three acres. and It, it was, was already a, cleared for um, recreational. Yeah, so, you know, it was a great price. It really was the best price out of all three for what the property offers, you know. And, like, and what we're really, looking for. Yeah, it fit everything that I need, you know. I'm just looking for like a weekend getaway type property. Some of we can lay out on a hammock or something in between us, some of those uh, yeah. pine trees. Yeah, some tree pies or something like that, guys. And I hope you appreciate this type of content, you know. Mm -hmm. Just try to do something different, try to really drop some jewels, you yeah, know. Yeah, encourage people to go get some property. Yeah, because they ain't making no more of it. But anyway, guys, if you made it to this part of the video, go ahead. Smash that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video, ride with the mob. Ride yeah, with guys, the mob. Ride with the mob on the road to 10K. But without further ado, guys, we appreciate you for rocking with us, and we'll see you on the next vlog. We out.